On the last day of our summer tour, we had to change our route slightly. We were planning to visit the place where I grew up and went to primary school, but lots of roads were closed because of the cyclone. I'll have to bring the camera back another time to show you that. We drove back down the east coast of the Coromandel Peninsula and then drove over the Korpuhikawai Road. We stopped to have a look at a couple of Cody trees. Some roosters were hanging out near the trees. Before driving back to Auckland, we visited a town called Thames. Thames was the closest town to where I grew up, so it brought back lots of memories. The town was built during a gold rush in the 1800s, and for a while it was the second largest city in New Zealand. It's not anymore. It now has a population of around 6,000. This is Thames Hospital the oldest hospital in New Zealand, apparently. And this is my old high school, Thames High School. This is the radio station where I used to work. I also worked at this cafe for a while, but it was called something different then. And this bar and this department store. I'm pretty sure this is where I did work experience when I was in fourth form and I wanted to be a hairdresser. The following year I did work experience here. I wrote news stories on a mechanical typewriter. And this is where I watched the Back to the Future movies. So many memories. It was a public holiday, so lots of stuff was closed. But we managed to find a cafe that was open. They were selling ninja bread men. We had some lunch and coffee, and I caught up on some postcard writing. I sent postcards to Wellington and Columbia. We drove up to the monument where you can get a good view of the town. This is a memorial for people who died in World War One. We left Thames at about half past 12. Sometimes you have to wait for a long time to get over the Corpu Bridge, so we made sure we had a couple of hours to spare. It only took five minutes this time. This bridge was built in 1928. They're now building a new bridge with two lanes, so people don't have to wait to cross it. The new bridge is supposed to be finished in the middle of 2012.
We said goodbye to our motorhome at the United Campervans Depot in Mangere. At the depot we met some fellow travellers. We're from a small town in Forsberg, Alberta, Canada. It's uh, very, very small, it's less than a thousand population. But we're retired and now we're living the RVer's dream. Uh, we stay in our RV year round, we're full-time RVers is what we call. So we stay in our recreational ve- vehicle and travel wherever the whim or the wind takes us. <laughs> George and his wife took a break from their RV in Canada and travelled around New Zealand for five weeks in a United Camper Vans motorhome. We've seen a lot of country and your country is beautiful. It's very, and the one thing we do find, you know, the roads might be narrow, mm. but your ditches are clean. Yeah, you don't have a bunch of uh, garbage and stuff like mm. in a lot of bottles or whatever, paper and trash. Yeah, mm. now we find the country very nice, very clean. We headed home in our little white car and posted the final postcards of the trip to Wellington, Japan, Vietnam and China. Es un sentimiento que va creciendo poco a poco con el tiempo y se acurruca en mi corazón para decirte mi amor que cada día que pasa me enamoro más de tu mirada y me gusta lo que siento en mí cuando estoy junto a ti. 